Hello guys, it's Joan and my dad here. Today we're here with Cosmic Collector's Edition. We're trying to get him all tuned up so he's ready for the day. We have the other two Cosmos off over here, and Cosmo has a huge update that's coming out very, very soon. Are you sure it's huge or it's not like colossal or like gigantic? It's, it's pretty big. Yeah, it is a big update coming. The, uh, the big date is, you know what the date is? No, I'm not exactly sure. It says December 5th, and hopefully it'll hold to that day. Um, and what's getting updated? A Cosmo Code Lab. For those of you that don't know, this is the original Cosmo Code Lab, where it's a horizontal script, and it goes across, and you have multiple different menus where you can select things, make them drive, do some animations, such as the dog. And that's our dog, Chip, underneath yeah. of us, uh, walking around a little bit. So yeah, so there's all your uh, different features that you have. You have five tabs down at the bottom. Now I'm going to put a screenshot up of the new Code Lab interface. As you can see in this picture, this is the new Code Lab, and on the left-hand side, instead of the bottom, is the is the selections of the different codes, and we have four new ones to the five, which is sensors, display. Operators and data. Yeah, data you can't see. It's actually it will be on the next screenshot that we show you. But uh, first and foremost, we have to thank uh, two YouTube channels. The links are down below for both videos. They showed some early beta looks of the new Code Lab, and that's Linus Tech Tips and Tech Advisor. Thanks for these screenshots we got from your channel. And uh, again, the links are down below if you want to watch the full videos. They are uh, pretty cool. As you can see, this next screenshot is in the displays folder for the codes. And it shows that you can actually code Cosmo's face and make it like a picture or whatever you want. You can put words or something cool. Yeah, we don't know exactly yet what you can do, but we kind of think you can. We've seen some of the SDK um, and what people have done. And, and basically, Code Lab 2.0 is kind of bridging the gap between what the software development kit offers for those of you that know how to program and for those of you that don't, like us. Uh, the Code Lab is perfect, um, and uh, this whole new uh, display feature is going to be pretty cool because we're going to be able to change and probably get rid of the eyes and add some words, some text, maybe math. Who the heck knows what we're going to do, but uh, we'll be very excited. In the next screenshot, you can see in the revamped animation section, you can see that there, you can play sounds now from the Cosmo. And the only one that we can see off the picture is 80s music, which is kind of weird. Yeah, so he can uh, be programmed to make facial expressions and stuff like that. And now, whoa, that was pretty cool. He just did that on his own. And uh, on top of the music, uh, he's going to be animated and have music to play. But besides 80s, maybe 70s, uh, I guess disco. So Cosmo, what do you think of the update so far? <laughs> he likes big hair rock bands. Well, uh, then you definitely like 80s music, I can tell you that much. Uh, awesome, Cosmo. We can't wait to hear you uh, play some music in the uh, next update, so. <laughs> My fair lady. Sorry. So this next screenshot has a lot of stuff going on, so we're going to have you guys pay attention to the bottom where there's three different modes. Yeah, the first thing is we're going to look at the two on the right. There's a sandbox mode and constructor mode. So what they've done is they've um, renamed the original Code Lab Sandbox Mode. So if for some reason you want to go back to the original Code Lab, there it is, Sandbox Mode. That'll take you back to everything that you can do now. The new Code Lab will be Constructor Mode with the vertical integration. So when you're ready for the new Code Lab, you're going to go to Constructor Mode. But the biggest tab of all is what, Join? Featured Projects. Yeah. And what are featured projects? Featured projects is when I guess you pretty much make a project and you can send it off the Anki or you can just put it into the public and it will get rated and it will go to the top page if you're that good and you can play someone else's thing and do cool stuff. Yeah, we're not sure exactly how it's going to work, but it's definitely user submission projects that will be shared with everybody. So it's really going to be awesome. People are going to be able to create all kinds of cool stuff and then we're going to get to showcase it in upcoming videos and stuff. So we're really excited for that. So if you now look at the top of the screen, you'll see three of the user submitted projects. And uh, what's the first one, Julian? The very first one is Light Show. Yeah, so it looks like you'll be able to program the cubes to make a light show. Which sounds kind of simple, but uh, that's pretty cool. Second one is uh, Cube Whack. 
What's that, like a whack-a-mole sort of, I guess? Yeah, I guess like, you just smack it when, when they light up or something. Yeah, so it's uh, user-submitted games, of course. And the third one is Tiny Orchestra, which we're going to show you on another screenshot in uh, just a bit. So on the next screenshot, we have three more um, user-submitted ones. And we have the... Magic Fortune Teller. So I guess Cosmo will be like a magic eight ball a little bit? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you shake him and then instead of getting dizzy, he'll tell you your fortune. Yeah, and then we also have the fire truck alarm. So he like lights up red and makes an alarm or something like yeah, that. Yeah, someone coded him to be like a fire truck, I guess. He's going to imitate a fire truck and probably make the siren sounds and turn red and stuff like that. And finally we have hot potato. So I guess it's with the cubes. That the cubes light up or they blink or something like that. It's a game of hot potato. Yeah. And again, these are uh, the six ones that we've been able to see through the screenshots of the uh, featured products, which are the user submitted uh, projects that have been created already. And most of these, I believe, were done with the software development kit and uh, are now going to be shared in Code Lab. And uh, we're excited because. Obviously, we want to create something that gets submitted as well, right? Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we can't wait to see what everyone else is creating. So it's Cosmos, social media, it's as good as it gets. This is going to be just awesome. So now we're going to go a little bit deeper into Tiny Orchestra. In Tiny Orchestra, here's a picture of um, the interface for it. Yeah, and it looks like um, each of the cubes, after they light up, you tap them and they play an instrument yeah. sound. And then if you look at the next screen, you've got all the coding for this. So it looks like you can either program it. We're not 100% sure yet, but Julian, looks like you can program hopefully different instruments. Maybe we can have a, a trumpet, a drum, a guitar, different instruments and sounds. Not sure if it'll be set sounds, chosen sounds, or you can pick from a whole array, but Julian had an idea when yeah, we were talking about this. I have an idea. This. If once all of our Cosmos get it, we can set up all three Cosmos, line them up, and have all nine cues so you can play all nine all nine cues at like at the same time. Yeah, and different instruments, and maybe create an entire orchestra of Cosmo and make him a, a orchestra conductor or something like that. So that'd be pretty cool. So Cosmo, who's your favorite composer? Beethoven's your favorite. Well, that's a good choice. There's a lot of good choices out there, but we'll, we'll take your word on Beethoven being your favorite. Well, anyway, uh, that's Code Lab, man. This is a enormous update, and the social media aspect's gonna just be the best part yeah. of it all, that we're gonna be able to share stuff and see other people's um, creations and stuff like that, and Anki creating this social media aspect to it is going to be pretty cool, and I'm sure Cosmo is gonna be stoked along with the other two who are sleeping right now, right? <laughs> but uh, anyway, we're hoping to get access to the beta, so we might get some access. And if we do, we'll showcase some few things that we're allowed to do early, possibly. But uh, get ready, because December 5th is the big update, right? Yep. So we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. See you guys.